Hi! Super quick vlog today. Sorry it's shaky, but it's because I'm holding it instead of being out in my balcony. Um, that's because it is night time and I don't want to go out there. So this is just a quick little vlog because I wanted to start and explain the book club that I want to start doing with you guys if you want to do it with me. If not, you don't have to. But basically, um, every time I finish a book, I am going to do a little vlog about it and a review and then I'm also going to tell you the next book that I'm going to read and you are very welcome to read along with me and once I finished it I'll do another vlog and review it and it'd be good to hear what everyone thought about it and I thought it'd be a nice exercise today just um because I've been reading loads recently and I really like it so shall we do that uh, yeah Let's do that. The first book that I think we should do, and that's because I want to read it next, and I'm the boss because this is my book club and it's only got me in it so far, is Girls of Riyadh. Here, I don't know. I don't know how close this should be. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, Girls of Riyadh is like Raja Al Sanya. I'm sorry, is a Saudi author. It's a female author and you might have heard about this if you've got interest in the Middle East. It was quite a controversial book at the time and I know the author was very brave to publish it and very sort of, she suffered some consequences so I'm really interested to read about it because I kind of know what happens so that'll be good. I've heard some literature people at my university actually compare it to it's like the Middle East Fifty Shades of Grey, not because of the content, but because it broke barriers and what it says in um, like sort of the global literature and Middle Eastern and slash Arabic um, literature and Islamic and Arabic literature. So let's read it. Um, I'll read you the blurb so you can get an idea if you want to read it, and you know if you do leave a comment down below, tweet me at Liquid Green and let me know and we can read it together and then once we've finished it we can do the book review! So on the back, excuse my pronunciation, I've not done Arabic since first year and even then we didn't really get to names. <laughs> okay so Gamra, uh, <laughs> okay Gamra's faith in her new husband is not exactly returned. Sadim is a little too willing to please her fiance Michelle is half American and the wrong class for her boyfriend's family. See, it's drama already. And Lamise works hard with little time for love. So the girls of Riyadh, that's the capital of Saudi Arabia, are young, attractive and living by Saudi Arabia's strict cultural traditions. Well, not quite. In between sneaking out behind their parents' backs, dating, shopping, watching American TV and having fun, they're still trying to be good little Muslim girls. That is, pleasing their families and their men. But can you be a 21st century girl and a Saudi girl? That's the question we're going to read. I think it's supposed to be quite an easy read. My flatmate who got me this book, she said it's an easy kind of chick lit, but with substance. I don't think you need to be into political Middle Eastern stuff to enjoy it. Um, I think it's a sort of, you know, Pride and Prejudice slash Bride and Prejudice, if you saw that film, that make on it. Um, it'll be interesting to see and it'll be really good to read. I hope I enjoy it because it has caused a storm if you hadn't realised that before. You know, maybe give it a Google don't if you don't want to spoil it, but I would recommend it. It's been out for ages, so it's probably quite cheap on Amazon. I'm trying to see if I can see how long it's been out for. Oh, my flatmate wrote happy birthday! I didn't know that. My flatmate bought me this book. I've obviously not read it yet. And she says, to Catherine, happy birthday 2014. Love, and then her name. Oh, That's good. I'm excited. Oh, it's a first edition! Oh, she's done well! Good girl! 2007 this came out. 2007. So yeah, it's probably really cheap on Amazon and stuff now. So yeah, 
I'm going to start reading this tomorrow on my commute. If you want to join in um, with the book club, if you think it's a nice idea or a good idea, then let me know. I'm sorry how shitty this vlog is and shaky and stuff, but that's what you get. Sorry guys. Bye.